this tutorial is going to go over soft select and how to use it. So I have just a normal sphere. If I have one vertex selected and I want to translate it out, only that one vertex moves. And you'll see that at the corners where these other vertices are, nothing happened at all. That's because we had one vertex selected and nothing else. If I hit B to turn on soft select, you'll see that the model has discolored slightly and with only one vertex selected, I'm going to pull it out and you'll see that there's a much larger fall off for that translation. Because with soft selection on, you'll have a strength of 100 at wherever you select and then it will fall off gradually to zero. To turn on soft selection, you hit B. B turns it on and off. There are a few different selection modes that you can use for soft selection, and you can change them through your tool setting. So come over here to your move tool, double click on it, and you'll see it's soft selection near the bottom. And you can either have the fall off radius be surface or volume. A surface selection I find to be more helpful and it will just follow the contours of your geometry. If you have a volume selection you won't see much of a difference on a sphere but if we make a cube and give it some more edge loops say I'm making the cushion for the couch And I'm going to select this top face. With the volume fall off mode, you'll see that I have the top selected and it selects the bottom as well because the fall off is taking account the volume of this object and is going to the bottom of it. So when I move the top up, the bottom goes as well. And that's not always very helpful. So if I change it from volume to surface, you'll see that the bottom is not selected. Make the fall off a little bit smaller. So when I move it, the bottom stays put and only the top moves. You can change the size of your fall off by holding down B and left clicking and dragging to the left and right. Sometimes it will default to be really big and you'll think that it's not working because you're left clicking and dragging for a while. But if you continue, it comes back to a normal size. You can also change the fall off radius here in the tool settings. This is a very helpful tool when you're trying to make something look less blocky or brick-like. It would be very helpful for the couch cushions. You can take some of the edges, turn soft selection on, and you can just round out the edges much easier. It'll look a little bit more natural than trying to do it one vertex at a time or one edge at a time.